Team 2168 tutorial series for the first robotics competition. In today's video, we go in depth on how PWM works on the C Rio. in detail about PWM. PWM means pulse width modulation and what it does is it controls the speed and the direction of the motor. If the motor speed is 100% then it is equivalent to 12 volts of power and if it's 0% it is equivalent to 0 volts of power. So how do we get in between 0 and 12? PWM also controls the direction, so when 12 volts are applied to one wire, it'll go in one way, and then when 12 volts are applied to the other, it'll go the other way. Pulse width modulation. Now that sounds kind of complicated, but we're going to break it down to simplest terms. The white wire in the PWM cable sends commands from the serial to the JAG or any motor controller. In this set of commands, there's a period of time. Inside a period of time, there's a pulse. The width inside the pulse determines the speed and direction of the robot. The change in this width is known as modulation. So let's put this in an analogy. We say this entire thing is one package. The period is the envelope. Inside that envelope, there's a letter, which we can say is our pulse. So that letter has a bunch of details written inside it. And so we can say those details are our width. So let's say we keep on mailing a bunch of letters, but in one specific letter, we want to change what's written inside it. That would be our modulation. So we change that, and then we send it again. And in this entire time, the white wire would act as the mailman, taking it from one place to another. So, in our scenario, it would be uh, taking it from the serial to the jack. This is how the serial works with the PWM. As you can see, we have our periods from our last... From our last illustration. Alright. This is, as you can see, we have our periods from our last illustration. Inside these periods are uh, th there are timers that count up and then reset and then count up again and then that goes on forever. And uh, the counters are represented by the dash dotted lines. So you can see that we put a couple of inputs. So these two periods, our time intervals have a specific input and then these two ones have a specific input. Now these are, and uh, so the PWM output is followed by these three simple rules. If the counter is less than the input, the PWM output will equal to low. If the counter is greater than is greater than or equal to the input, the output will be high. And when the counter resets, the output will equal low. So here I'll show you how it works. So for our purple joystick input, we have it as 0.5. So as we can see, the count the uh, counter is less than the input. Less, less, less. Oh, it's equal to. So it goes up and it's greater. And then since it comes back here, it rolls over and it resets. Same thing. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, equal, goes up, higher. So now for our orange one, we can see that we have our input in a negative 0.5. So which means that uh, we, uh, it goes here, equal to, and we have a larger, uh, larger width. Same thing with this one, larger width and rolls over. This is how a serial changes the width. This change in width tells the motor controllers to go to a specific speed and direction. 